everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today I'm doing an entry called On Solid Ground and I'm going to be showing you some fun techniques that we can do with oil pastels. So here is a glimpse at the page. This is in my interleaved Bible, which has a blank page every other page throughout the entire Bible. And I'm putting together a semi-collage using some lettering, some scripture writing, and just having a lot of fun. So as usual, I'm gonna share my little warm-up activity with you today. Just one verse to write out by hand, Psalm 40, verse two. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. Now, a different version, the New Living Translation says on solid ground instead of upon a rock. And so I really loved that phrase. And that was kind of my inspiration for my actual Bible journaling page, which you'll get to see me complete in just a minute. So here's my first application of oil pastels. I'm just using them here in the sketchbook. And as you can see, they work really well on the sketchbook paper. They actually kind of blend right away on that magazine clipping that I have in the middle of the page. But they're just really fun to add around a collage because they sort of highlight the object. They give it a little bit of shadowing, make it look like it was kind of meant to be there, and kind of just anchors it to the page so that it looks less like a big sticker. So that's what I went for on the journal page here, a very, very simple scripture writing process. Are you guys having fun writing scripture in your journals? Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying this process and if it's encouraged you to go ahead and do some scripture writing of your own. So I'm just highlighting that phrase again on solid ground. That's going to be kind of my theme verse for my quiet time today as I move into the Bible itself. So in my Bible, Psalm 40, verse 2, I've already created on that page. And so I'm going to create on the following page instead. I'm using a template from my Faithful to Save set of templates, and those are available over in my Etsy store. And I'm just going to go ahead and create the art for Psalm 40, verse 2 over on this page. And I'll show you at the end of the video what I do to kind of make a quick notation to myself that my little journaling for it is going to be on the following page. Now I wanted to go ahead and write out the New Living version of this verse. I also had that hymn come to mind, On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. So those are kind of the two things that I'm writing on this paper. Now I started out using this cursive script writing and kind of left some room in the center of this page to kind of break up the layout a little bit. Now this is just calligraphy paper and so it's kind of like graph paper except it's at a slight slant. So it helps your cursive sort of stay on track. And after I started writing, I went ahead and just sort of moved the verse all together and then left the hymn written in capital letters. And I decided to go ahead and kind of tear these things apart separately and put them on the page just however I liked them. I was initially gonna leave that space in the middle for the template and instead I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these things on the page right where I like them and then add the template in a moment. And it will actually end up being in the middle as I had originally wanted it to be. Let me go ahead as I'm gluing these down. I want to read the version from the New Living Translation. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground. And then this is the part I really love too, and steadied me as I walked along. Isn't that awesome? He puts us on solid ground and steadies us as we walk along. I just love that. Now, as you can see, this template I'm using was designed to be put into the margin of a journaling Bible, but I'm showing you here, you can use this in a normal sketchbook, in a journal, in an interleaved Bible, you can use it however you like. Um, in this case, the final flowers on the right side are going to be cut off, they're not going to fit on the page, which I'm totally fine with. There's no rule that says you have to use every single part of a template, but basically I'm just tracing this in, and I did speed it up a little bit so you don't have to watch me kind of redraw the entire template. 
But there it is, and this is just so much fun. I have been loving my oil pastels lately. These are some blending sticks on the side that are super inexpensive. You can get them at craft stores or on Amazon. And these oil pastels happen to be water soluble, but today I'm gonna just use them dry, and they work beautifully both ways. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use my little blending stick because the areas I'm working in are so small. I actually really prefer using my fingers to blend these, but I just knew that if I went for it with my fingers, I could end up with a super sloppy page. And so I decided to go ahead and use these blending sticks. So hopefully the imagery here is not lost on anyone. I'm just kind of depicting that idea that we can stand on solid ground because God is gracious and he lifts us up and he steadies us as we walk along. What a comfort. And again, this is part of that continuing series on the faithfulness of God, which is actually coming to a close already. I can't believe it. But again, this is talking about his faithfulness to save us and his faithfulness to kind of lift us up from discouragement, take us up out of sin, and set us on a rock, set us on solid ground so that we can continue on. And it's really only because of his grace and his mercy and his faithfulness that we can do just that. So I went ahead and I'm adding in some blue sky in the form of just kind of messy textured lines. I could have taken the time to go ahead and color the whole sky in and blend it really nice and smoothly, but it's okay. I just kind of wanted to blend it around a little bit. These oil pastels are also helping the torn edges of the calligraphy paper to almost disappear onto the Bible page and make it look as if this was just one cohesive piece of paper instead of a couple different things kind of glue sticked down and put together. So this gives it a nice finished look, I guess. So you can just see I'm going through and just choosing colors and filling in the spaces and then grabbing the blending tool and just blending away. And these are amazing. A lot of people worry about them transferring onto the page next to it when you close your Bible. I have not yet experienced that. As long as you do a really great job of blending, they don't even feel very sticky to the touch. You can tell there's some sort of product on the page, but it does not usually transfer over to the opposite page, which is awesome. I added kind of a darker shade of blue up in the sky for some extra texture, and then I'm drawing down that brown color down further on the page, again, just to kind of bring everything together and make it look like one whole piece. Now I did save some little details for myself to complete with my Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens. These are the brush tip pens. So for instance, I'm thickening up the words on solid ground. I'm adding in my little clusters of plus signs or crosses around the page. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just color in these teeny tiny little rocks, which I knew would be difficult to do with those oil pastels adding in the stems of the flowers and the little yellow parts in their centers, and then finally adding the little bows on those little high heel shoes there, and just adding in a little bit of detail here and there. And I think that just really kind of polishes up and gives us a finished page. Now on the back side, as you can see, there's no bleed through. Oil pastels are safe to use in your Bible and they're actually becoming very quickly one of my favorite things to reach for. And this page will be ready to create on as soon as I get over to Psalm 43 and 44 in this Bible. So there you have it. Here is a glimpse of what I did on the other page, Psalm 40 verse two, little squiggly arrow over, and that's telling me that if I flip the page, I'll be able to see this artwork that I created. Go ahead and jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It is amazing. I'm so glad you joined me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment below with any questions or comments you might have. Here's a couple more videos of mine that you might also enjoy. Join us on Facebook. I have some free templates over there if you're a subscriber here. Find me on Etsy. All of my templates are also available for purchase over there. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.